The creator of ShadCN has developed a new way to share components between projects. And you probably know it already, it's just one command which brings all the components and dependencies that are needed for that specific component. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it for my 8BCM project and how you can easily use ShadCN registry to share components between different projects. Let's see what are we actually getting from this one command. So I'm going to copy this 8-bit button command and I'm going to put it inside of my new Next.js project that I started. It's called registry test. So I'm running that command and first thing that we are getting is we are initializing actually ShedCN inside of our Next.js project. So I'm choosing here the theme. I created components.json file then I'm going to force React 19 issues. And what are we actually getting? So we have our dependency, which is the shared CM button, because the 8-bit button is built on top of shared CM button. And we are getting the 8-bit button. Also, what are we are getting? If we check git status right here, we can see that package.json is also changed. So if we check here, difference in package.json, we see that we added a bunch of new dependencies. So this Radix UI React slot is needed for shared CM button. And that one was also installed through the registry. Also, all these other things that are installed, that's everything that is coming with shared CN. So let's see how to set up this one. So here is the code base from ABCN, and I'm going to open the registry.json file. So that one is in the root directory and here we specify how are we sharing our components. So first thing we have are these three items. So we have schema. This one is pretty much not changed ever. Then we have the name of the app. This one should be actually 8BitCN and homepage should be your official public domain that is going to be used to create your own registry. And then we have the most important part and that's the items. So here we are actually putting our components and we have here our button. So let's stick to that button component. So first we have a name of our button. That one needs to be unique. So you cannot have two 8-bit buttons. It's not going to work. Then we have the type, which is a registry component. Title description, that's just something that goes along with your component. And then we have registry dependencies. This one is really important. This button means that we are going to pull shared CM button together with this 8-bit button. And not only that, but also those dependencies. So that React slot that we saw or anything that is needed is going to be pulled together with this shared CM component. And everything that is left is to put in the path of our actual component. So this is our 8-bit button. If we go to this one, it's going to our button component that we created in our registry. And we need to target where is that component going to be saved. If we don't put this target, it's just going to be saved under component slash UI. But since this component is named exactly the same like ShadCN component button.tsx, I targeted that it's going to be created inside the 8-bit directory. And after this, everything that is left is to create our build. So here you can see in our package.json file that we have here, registry build, which is running the shadcn build command. So when we go to our terminal right here, we can just run pmpm registry build and it's going to check our registry.json file and it's going to build everything based on that registry. You have all the steps on ShedCN documentation. I was following this one when I was creating it for 8BitCN. If you need any help, you can ask me in the comments and I'm going to leave also the GitHub repo from 8BitCN. So you can check there the registry.json file if that helps you out. And I hope you're going to create something awesome with ShedCN registry, like 8BitCN, for example.